four trillion dollars in spending. They are calling for cuts to defense, Medicare, and Social Security. One of those senators, Senator Mark Warner, joins us now live from Capitol Hill. Uh, this plan that the, the two of you are getting together on, and it's a bipartisan plan, we should note, uh, is basically based on uh, the Simpson-Bowles Commission, correct? It is, John. It's basically saying there was a little bit in that plan that everybody didn't like, yet it still got 11 out of 18 votes. And what we hear in terms of, uh, of the presidential commission, and what we hear a lot of here is rhetoric up here about cutting the deficit. This, we thought, was at least a good starting point. A year had work had gone in it. It is both deficit reduction and tax reform, two of the three legs of the stool that I think we need to address because we've got to cut our spending, we've got to reform our tax code, and we've got to have an innovation and growth agenda for our whole country moving forward, it'll take all three of those to actually get our deficit under control. You, you, uh, a lot of people say that you can't have meaningful deficit reduction in this country unless you do something about entitlement programs like Medicare and Social Security. Are those off the table in your plan? No, not at all. Matter of fact, the, uh, the deficit connection uh, took on Medicare, took on Social Security, took on entitlements, took on defense spending. It also, though, it took on tax reform, which ended up lowering individual rates, lowering corporate rates, but closed off a lot of tax expenditures right now. I don't think most Americans realize that we actually spend more on tax expenditures or tax breaks than we collect in personal income taxes each year. So that has to be on the table as well. Yeah, so simplifying the tax code would be a big right. part of what you want to do? Yes, sir. And, you know, it's really, it's three legs. I mean, what we oftentimes up here is we think we can either cut our way out of this problem or we can raise taxes out of this problem or simply have a growth agenda and grow our way out of this, out of this problem. My belief is it's going to take all three. And if you talk to anybody in the business community who is actually about creating jobs, they realize as well it's going to take all three, a growth agenda as well. Well, everybody talks about cutting spending, but when the rubber meets the road, nobody wants to actually cut some of these programs that are so popular. And I know you're already getting pushback from the National Association of Home Builders, for instance, on the mortgage deduction plans. Uh, you're getting pushback from the AARP on raising the retirement age. Are you going to have the political will to withstand all of that? Well, John, the, way I, the only way I think we're going to get it done is if there's enough good that outweighs the individual parts of bad. If you do this bits and pieces the way the normal congressional process works, you're right. The established order, the entrenched interest will probably win the day. If at the end of the day, though, we all kind of link arms in a bipartisan way and say we're going to take this mighty jump, and I think the American public would back that, I think we can get something done. That's you my hope this year, and that's why Saxby Chambliss and I have, have uh, joined forces with a whole lot of other senators, I might add, yeah, that's close to 20 plus, and we're saying, and let's, start, let's take this document as a starting point and go from there. All right. Uh, so let's say you've got 20 or more senators who are ready right. to make that jump with you. You think you can convince the American people that it's a good jump to make? Well, I think some of this stuff is just math. I think when we explain to the American people that 50 years ago there were eight workers for every one retiree on Social Security, and now with our aging population, there's only two workers for every retiree, that means at some point it's got to break. You've got to end up reforming the system. And we can either wait till 2037 when we hit a crisis, or we can do it now and phase this in over a 30-year period, which I think most Americans would agree on. It's not a question of if we're going to do deficit reduction. It's only a question of when. Are we going to do it on our timetable, or are we going to wait to the financial markets to dictate to this to that? Senator, Senator Mark Warner is a Democrat from Virginia, joining with a Republican from Georgia, Saxby Chambliss, to uh, introduce that legislation that he's just been telling us about. Senator Warner, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me, John.